Don't they look marvelous? Now, I want you guys to be especially appreciative of my other MCs tonight. They are giving up the beginning of a high school dance to be here. And what's even more embarrassing is their mother made them do this. <laughs> so boys, step up and why don't you introduce our first act? We're just here to stand up and look cool, so <laughs> don't pay attention to us. We don't know what we're talking about. Okay, boys, this is how it's done. Okay. Welcome to the 11th Annual Anchorage Folk Festival. Give yourselves a big hand for being here tonight. We've got a great show tonight, a lot of really different, varied, and very splendid talents. So um, make yourselves comfortable. We will get you drinks and popcorn as, uh, as this, the, the opportunity allows. But we want you guys to have a good time tonight. Um, our first act uh, coming up, and come on boys, because I'm going to need your help with this. I'd say a combination of old and new technology. Indeed. Okay. Uh, Tim Windwalk. And what is he playing tonight? He's playing various whistles, as far as I can tell. <laughs> Native American flute. Please give a big hand for our first performer, Tim Windwalker Coffee. deserve a big hand themselves and so when you applause, so I think all the volunteers and hope the volunteers are listening to my applause too. Uh, this first song I'm going to play for you is called Long.
Uh, for those of you that have an interest, uh, having a workshop on the native event flu next Sunday, week from Sunday, at 3 o'clock uh, here in this building. If you have a flu, bring it. Uh, if you don't have a flu, come anyway if you're interested. You don't have to have a flu to attend the workshop. Also, for those who might have an interest, uh, didn't have time to get them in yet, but about a half hour when I'm through, uh, my book, Flute Magic, it's in the second edition now, will be out front for sale, as well as my album called Voices. This next song I'm going to play for you, uh, I hope you'll enjoy hearing it as much as I enjoyed playing it. It's entitled In Remembrance. And it's sort of a a tribute and an acknowledgement to all those that have done before us.
year, I had the pleasure of cutting some tracks in 1999 when I did a rod film. Uh, it's going to be premiering uh, March 1st at the Anchorage Museum, for those of you that might have an interest. Uh, a gal in Boston uh, composed music, and she composed some parts for me to play. One of the songs in particular I really like, I usually play my own music, but uh, I'm going to play the song for you now. It so, uses a very low food. Uh, this is a uh, seafood. Let's see. And um, I just like to kind of improvise with it. I hope you enjoy it too. Walker, nice way to start out the evening. And the millennium. There's a lot of talk about this being the first folk festival of the millennium, but I happen to believe it's the last folk festival of the millennium. What do you guys think? <laughs> Let's have a round of applause. How many think this is the new millennium? And the last year of the old millennium. The audience has it. Um, Steve, why don't you tell us a little bit about membership for the Folk Festival, what it does. Uh, membership for the Folk Festival um, helps you support uh, bringing groups into our guest artists this year. Great. Uh, it also pays for the use of the facilities and um, other events such as the Cajun Dance that uh -huh. will be tomorrow night at the Snow Goose. At the snow, is he going to go? Maybe. Can we dance? <laughs> you don't have to get... I'll get... We'll all get at some point. Okay. Julian, you know Myrna ukulele, don't you? You want to uh, talk a little bit about her? You know who she is? Well, we thought we'd say that Myrna ukulele needs no introduction. After all, we have no introduction to give you. <laughs> I didn't make them think, make them say that. That's very good, kid. <laughs> Myrna Ukulele has been playing uh, for the folk festivals about as long as her um, dress has been, um, you know, in existence, which is a long time. Um, I love Myrna because she gets the details right. 
not only with her music, but with her clothing, with her entire uh, presentation. So it's always fun to, uh, to watch her. A couple of years back, a couple old guys were backstage saying, yep, she looks just like Erna Loy, and I guess she does. Um, just about set up there. Okay, boys, why don't you introduce she who needs no introduction? Well, I was going to say that you know, in the program it describes her as uh, meander with Myrna down memory lane. Well, if you remember memory lane as fondly as I do, you'll surely enjoy this. <laughs> I can't hear, oh, I was going to say, I can't hear myself, so I don't know if you could hear me. Well, welcome, everyone. It's nice to be here. This is probably going to be one of the most spontaneous sets I've ever done, because I only decided a couple days ago what I was going to sing on stage, and then I ended up having to shovel my driveway, <laughs> and I never did get around to practicing, so at any rate. Yeah, I, I think I'll play a few old tunes. I'd like to get you on a slow boat to China All to myself alone Get you and keep you in my arms forevermore Leave all your other lovers weeping on a faraway shore Till I 
everyday life. I, uh, many people don't even know this, but I'm a librarian. <laughs> and so I thought I'd sing a library song. This is the one that a friend's sister wrote, and I just, uh,
That means very good in French. Do they make you study language anymore in high school? Uh, they try to. Uh-huh. What second language do you speak? Uh, French, sort of. Oh. Sort of, kind of. In a very little sort of kind of way. Un petit peu? No. No. <laughs> Not even that much. Not even that much. Bon, comme t'as Oh, très bien, merci.
tune. <laughs> I guess so. Okay, we're moving right on to our next song.
Mike and Meg, this is Angie, and this is Kathy. And we get cool guys like John Schlomer to come play with us. And come see us at the Snow Goose on Thursday, 7.30 to 8.30, voting Fred Week. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Let's try this one. This is like being in a jungle of forest of microphones up here. Talking about being in a jungle of mics. It's your lead in. <laughs> Who's coming up next? Mike Kettle. He, uh, he gets around. He's, he's everywhere. Uh, he plays at the Talkeetan Folk Festival in Juno. Here, of course. <laughs> <laughs> It's well, not your turn yet. <laughs> the, uh, I'm missing the word. Teddy bear? Teddy bear of Alaska, yes. Um. Well, weren't you telling me that Stellar was auctioning off what they thought was the world's biggest teddy bear, which was like four feet tall or something? That was Julian. Stark. Oh, that was Julian Stark. Yeah, yeah. we think, you know, Stellar's teddy bear was nothing in comparison to Mike. <laughs> We all like Mike. He's been around for a long time and great singing and guitar playing. And he's very round, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he's going to make fun of us. We can make fun of him. <laughs> um, I want you guys as the audience to really give a great round of applause to my three MCs now who are going to go off to shake their booty. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Evergreen. We've got Steve Sidey. Julian Brailsford and Graham Sybe, and it's been a real treat for me as an old lady to kind of be up on stage with such young, cute guys. I've appreciated it. So you guys go and boogie down tonight, okay? All right. Be very careful. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. That leaves you a lot of leeway. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to tell you all, uh, don't forget about Folk Week. Uh, various musicians will be playing around town. I'm not sure when exactly, but they will. Trust me. It's, it's in the schedule. There's also various dances, um, the Contra of Square Dance that happened, um, the Cajun Dance um, on tomorrow, and next weekend there will be another con dance, and then uh, next Saturday there will be a swing blues-ish sort of dance. The important part of this is that we will be playing. Thursday <laughs> night at Syracuse. With no further ado, let's bring on Mike Campbell, shall we? Mike Campbell! Trying to get their hooks in me. There's a spinner in my. 
my dorsal and I fly at my tail. I think every single fisherman belongs in jail. I said, oh my, I see with my eye all the pretty colors of those fish and flies. Oh my, now I really must try. You see, I got to get to heaven before I can die. Sam and love, you see, it is a terminal disease. But it doesn't make me shiver and I hardly ever sneeze. Turns my body bright red, my head pins turn green. My upper jaw gets snaggled low and I look so damn mean. But if I can find a place to spawn with the moon up above, then I won't mind terminating from Sam and love. Yes, if I can find a place to spawn with the moon up above, why, then I won't mind terminating but from that salmon, salmon love. This is the 11th annual Anchorage Folk Festival, and I still remember the first one. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Mike Campbell. I work for the state of Alaska. The state sends me all over the place to check cannery scales and road construction scales and grocery store scales. I'm the scale inspector for the state of Alaska. I get traveled around a lot, sometimes when I'm in some of these odd places and uh, I'm uncomfortable, I write songs about them. <laughs> oh, the sun doesn't shine much in Kodiak, at least it seems that way to me. Each time that I come down here, the gray skies are all that I see. When the wind comes in off the ocean, and it chills me to the bone The steady sound as the rain hits the ground Makes me feel so alone I've got the Kodiak Island Tired of these rainy day blues This kind of weather, never the kind I would choose Instead of these gray clouds every day on Kodiak Island, tired of these rainy day blues. I've been working hard here in Kodiak, but there's still so much more work to do. I have already found in here far too long, seems like I'll never get through. There's a rainbow on the horizon, and to the north I can see blue skies. But where I stand here, the rain is near, and I keep wondering why. I've got the Kodiak Island, tired of the rainy day blues. Every day on Cody Island, tired of these rainy day blues. Now the rain is still falling on Cody Island. My plans to come home have changed. There's a problem at one of the fish canneries. Gotta go back there again. But I'm sick of the smell of the ocean. And I'm tired, clear down to my shoes. But if things go right, in another few nights, I will be flying back home to you. I've got the Kodiak Island, tired of these rainy day blues. Oh, this kind of weather, never the kind. Sun, where the sky has a deep azure hue. 
my soul you load 16 times. family and I'm going to let him step right up here. No stay ranger to the microphones. You all know John Tracy. So there's no debate here tonight. I can, yeah, and I... Tony was in a few minutes ago, but we sent him home. Okay. Well, it's, uh, it's, it's great to be here. Thanks, thanks for asking me. I'm not sure why you asked me, but it's great to be here. I'm a, I'm a music lover. It's true, I, I, I uh, play in a, a little rock and roll band, which is kind of like folk music without the social conscience, so... Uh... Folk music with uh, sort of an altered conscience? Yeah. No, not all the time. Uh... <laughs> you know what they call a guy who hangs out with musicians? Mm. A drummer. That's kind of... <laughs> that's kind of what I... And, you know, if there was a drum set here, I'd be happy but there's just a stool, so I'm gonna sit down. <laughs> so, Mr. Tracy, who are your rock and roll influences? Um, Animal from the Muppets. No, there's uh, <laughs> Helen Reddy. Um, <laughs> pretty much Helen Reddy. Uh, okay, I'm a wimpy drummer. Uh, I am woman, hear me roar. That was my theme song at one time. It was. I've got the underarm hair to prove it. Are you going to let... Okay. <clears throat> In my business, that's called more than we need to know. Uh... I school is called TMI. TMI? What's that? Too much information. Too much information. <laughs> Patrick, I think, is going to go Wow. Who needs any folk musicians? Well, I do, actually, because I'm, I'm dry. I'm done. So it looks like we're ready. Are we yes, ready? Yes, why don't you tell who's coming up next? Well, I will. It is, is my, <clears throat> my, <clears throat> my job here to serve as MC, which is simply the person who tells you who's playing next because you left your program outside. So next up uh, is uh, 
somebody who needs no introduction. Good night. Uh, no, she's, uh, she has five CDs out. Her music has been heard around the world. In fact, it uh, was played in Beijing at the opening of the Women's Conference where Hillary Clinton went there and caused all that trouble. The only thing that saved her was, was Libby's songs. And uh, also played at the invocation uh, with uh, Coretta Scott King. And so we're very fortunate that she calls Anchorage home. Very lucky to have her. And uh, that's Libby Roderick, of course, and accompanied her tonight. No. <clears throat> Not Jewel. In fact, one of, when, when I asked when I asked what the folk music festival was all about, they explained it to me that this would be the place that that Jewel Kilcher played if she still had a last name. This would where this is where she would be playing if she ever showed up. That this is in fact. Shall we just do it for Grins, ladies and gentlemen? Jewel. <laughs> you, <laughs> oh, there she is. There she is. There's my Jewel. Alice Welling from the Fly By Night Club. Who has the distinction of doing a better jewel than jewel? This is the ultimate jewel. You want to come up, Alice, and do something. You sometimes. should, you should. You see, Alice intends to be funny, and that's the whole key. But we digress. We were in, we were in the middle of our introduction to Libby Roderick and Ken, Ken Sees. Now, Ken, uh, Ken is described as an eclectic acoustic guitarist in, in, in the uh, manual, and he has a special guest. He's going to have come up a little bit uh, in the middle of their set, but I've never seen an eclectic guitar, so I'm really looking forward to that. Libby Roderick and Ken Cease. I am asked. 
to always play by myself up here on the stage, so I'm um, delighted that Ken Cease is going to join me. Very quick notice with almost no rehearsals, and um, he's going to play some guitar with me. This next song is called Orphan Train, and um, I don't know if anybody else saw this, but a little while back on PBS, they had a show called Orphan Train, and it was about this um, orphan train, <laughs> as it happens. Um, there was this guy in New York a long time ago who set up a train to take uh, young people who he either believed to be orphans or who really were orphans and send them off into the Midwest in the hopes that somebody would take them in. And it was this incredible uh, show where all these people were interviewed and some of them, they were like in their 90s, and some of them had had, it was the best break they'd ever had in their life and some of them it was the worst and just very moving. So that was the source for this song. Eighteen fifty, New York City. Thousands of children roam the streets. Father Bray sets out to save them on an orphan train to Illinois through Midwest farmlands. At every stop in every town, the farmers came to look them over. Does anybody want me? We're all. Okay. 
going to do two more songs for you. This is a song that was requested. Um, I sang it last year. Shocked a few people. <laughs> Didn't mean to. Um, it's a love song about uh, the passion for love and life. It's called When Jesus Takes Me Dancing. Jesus takes me dancing at the hockey dog bar. He pulls up at the corner in his daddy's new car. And he drives like a devil as my heart starts to break. He says, I am the light girl. Somebody, it's called How Could Anyone. Um, if you 
want to just join on in um, my thought about this. There's this wonderful um, Tibetan Buddhist nun who says, we weren't born in original sin, we were born with original soft spot. And all the weird and strange and eccentric and interesting and unique things we do under the umbrella of sin are actually what we're trying to do to protect our original soft spot. So this is my love song to the human race. It goes like this. on the stage. The next group is uh, kind of on the other side of that. Uh, rank strangers, or as I call them, the stank rangers, are coming up. Um, I think for Joe Page, this like breaks a record for having a band of the same name for this long, because he's kind of notorious for changing band names. I remember one time he showed up at Juno, uh, and I think it was like Emily Post Goes to Asia which he had gotten out of the Alaska Flight Magazine en route, so that was kind of cool. Um, why don't you uh, talk a little bit about Folk Week, what's coming up? Well, there's going to be lots of people playing different places around town, including uh, my, my group Evergreen, um, and I assume most many of the other people you'll see on stage tonight. And uh, there's going to be dances each weekend, and people playing all week. So, uh, I mean, you, you can go out and find music any night of the week, wherever, you, wherever you're going. And a lot of workshops, too. There's going to be a lot of good stuff uh, both weekends during the day here around campus, both in this building and I think a few other places as well. You can get the information out of your programs. 
and you can't tell the players without programs, so uh, make sure you get some. Speaking of programs, I don't have one up here, so I'm not sure if I know everybody who's in the band or not. Okay. Always call in a news professional. You hire a professional, you get a program. <laughs> folk festival and a hockey game broke out. <laughs> wow. That was really kind of neat. That was, this is number one. Which one are you looking for? Maybe we can help. This is the one. Here you go. So anyway. <laughs> yeah. uh, this, one, this one has a great sound. You can't take this one. I don't really like that one. Oh, you want to know who's in the group? I love the names of these groups, by the way. There, I do have one announcement. Uh, if you'll turn to your next page, uh, the group that's supposed to start tomorrow, the non-commitments, we're not really sure they'll show up, so... <laughs> they may have something else to do. Sometimes they come... But you guys looking for one a specific color? Is there something uh, you... They all seem to work the same. A moment of silence for the roadies. How about a hand for the roadies? Oh, make a mask. Yeah, uh, I actually need to ask, is there anyone in the audience that knows how to play guitar for... Let's give the song. Stairway to heaven. You are meant for me. If anybody can play Jewels, you are meant for me. Come backstage. We may have someone who can sing it. So we're looking for an accompaniment. Your chance for stardom. Okay, they're going to do checks for a while. No, not ready yet? That was dirty rain. Okay, one finger when you hear the tone. Is that hot? Check. 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 Banjo, Mike. Is off. That might have been my vocal that was that was ringing. No, there's nothing. Maybe they'd like us to sing Aka Pizza. Frank Stranger! I think that's number 12. Check your mic, Joe. Check, 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 there it is. check. Thank you for that wonderful welcome. You can be sure we're very glad to be here. Ready? Yep. Here we go.
Huh? Joel, wait a minute. What's with the clock? What are you doing? Hey, I don't want anybody stealing my licks. <laughs> That's a five-yard penalty. You guys ready? Yeah. Here's one the fiddle player wrote. Yeah, I thought so too. Yeah, I can't hear that guitar. How's that better? So she broke my jaw. It's taglines like that. I'm not gonna miss you if you don't. This one has a catchy tagline. Let's see if you can pick it up. Best man at your wedding, and it's hard to find the 
words to let him know that his only love has been unfaithful and with the very one he trusted most. I'd like to find some easy way to tell him, but no words can help a broken heart to bear. Our love shouldn't be, but each time you're loving me, I'm still praying. Hear you say mine, and I'm gonna love you till the world comes to an end. I was his best man on the day he won your hand. Now I'm praying, Lord, just let the best man win. Now I'm praying, Lord, just let the best man win. Thank you. I told you not to break any strings, Laura. He always breaks a string at this festival. Well, I'd like to take a second and introduce everybody while he's tuning up that guitar. He's going to play it without a string, I think. You got everything tuned up yet? All right. Well, on the far left of the stage, my left, your right, is Greg Boothies holding down the banjo on a five string over there. And I'd like to also introduce the guy who broke a string. We told him not to break any strings this set, but he just refuses to uh, go on with the program. Um, better known as, hey, who's that behind the bushes? Uh, Joel Cataroach. My string comes off to you. And uh, one of my favorite mandolin and guitar players holding down the bass tonight is Mr. Bernard Glansby, the man in black. I'd like to thank my cardiologist for making this evening possible. It's a fact. Holding down the mandolin tonight, one of the world's greatest players, one of the greatest players on the planet. Um, very talented man. <laughs> what was that? He drinks whiskey? Wait a minute. No. This is a family show. This is Mr. Joe Page. And I'm your host for the evening. My name is Frank Sullivan, and uh, we are Life Strangers. This little number is called Boston Boy, if you were wondering. <laughs> 